Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Belele Nkosi. In this video, we do the presentations about human ear. So human ear falls under human responding to the environment. So here I have the examination guideline for life sciences. So this is the examination guideline. So we are on responding to the environment in human. So today we talk about human ear air. I will explain the structure of a human ear and the functions of the different parts and then the function of the human ear in hearing process and the balancing process. So I will explain these two processes which are very important and then I will also look at uh, the causes and the treatments of the following hearing defect. So which is middle ear infection and the deafness. So these are the content of this video. Hopefully you have this examination guideline. If you don't have, you can get it from the Department of Basic Education website. Then you can download it there. So without wasting more time, let's get to it. Here I have the structure of a human ear. So this is the structure. So you must be able to label this structure here so i will show you the one part and explain the function so let's start with the pina so here a pina so when we talk about pina we talk about this part the part that we see outside the ear the part that we see outside we call it a pina so a pina it's a cartilage flat situated situated on the outside of the ear so it's situated outside and the function it directs sound waves into the auditory canal so what pina does as the sound waves moves around then pina trap this sound and then directed it to the auditory canal or the ear canal so this is the ear canal so this is the functions of the pina and then the next part is ear canal so ear canal a tube which passes from the pina to the tympanic membrane so here we have a pina and then we have a tym tympanic membrane. So this tube here, it's an ear canal. So the functions of this tube is to transmit sound waves to the tympanic membrane. So it takes the sound wave. As the sound wave is trapped by the pina, then this canal will direct it to the tympanic membrane. And then another function, it has a little hair that prevent for rain from entering the ear. So for rain, for example, something like dust, a small insect. Though, so this hair that is inside the ear canal will trap those small insects. And then it has a wax which prevent the tympanic membrane from drying. So this wax keeps this tympanic membrane moist so that it won't dry because it needs to vibrate. Then another part is tympanic membrane. So tympanic membrane is this part here. This is a membrane. So tympanic membrane is a thin membrane separating the outer ear from the middle ear. So this membrane separates outer ear from middle ear. So the functions of this membrane, it produces vibration from the sound wave. So as the sound waves and touch this ear then hit this mem membrane so this membrane will start to vibrate so that's why they say the functions of this membrane is to produce vibration and then it transmits sound waves to the middle ear so another function of this it transmits these waves to the middle ear so this is the functions of a tympanic membrane and then another part it's ossicle bones so when we talk about ossicle bones we talk about stirrup talk about anvil and we talk about harm so these bones are very important so ossicle bones are three irregular shaped bones so we have one which is hammer and the hammer is the largest and then in two we have anvil which is the metal in size and then we have stirrup stirrup is the smallest so their function they transmit vibration from the tympanic membrane to the inner ear or to the to the oval window so these three bones they transmit sound waves or the, the vibration they transmit vibration 
from the tympanic to the oval wind. And another function, they serve to amplify vibration or they make large, they, they make the vibration large. So another function, they make the vibration larger. How does they achieve that? It's because Hama, which is the largest, will transmit this vibration to anvil. And then anvil, it's smaller than Hama. So as the vibration hit the anvil, it will become larger because the volume of Hama and the volume of anvil are not equal in size. Then as Hama has a larger volume and then anvil have a small volume. So the vibration, when it hit anvil, it will be larger. And then the stirrup, which is the smallest, again, there, there's going to be an amplification of vibration. So this is how they amplify the sound. It's because of the sizes are not equal. They move from larger size to the smallest size. Then the vibration will be smaller to larger. So these are the functions of the OSEC. And then another part is an Ostachian tube. So Ostachian tube is a thin tube connecting the middle ear the back of the throat so this tube here it will proceed to the back of the neck so to the throat and then the functions of the chain tube is to equalize pressure on both sides of the tympanic membrane remember the tympanic membrane need to vibrate so in order to vibrate the pressure between the pressure on each side must be equal so as this as this side as the outer side is the outside of our body, and then we need the pressure from the inside ear that is equal as the outside. So that is why this tube will move to the throat, which will connect with the mouth. So the pressure, this will make the pressure between or the pressure on each both side of this tympanic membrane to be equal. And then another part it's the round window so here we have a round window so a round window is a membrane situated below the oval window so here i did not show the oval window oval window it's the membrane that is separating inner ear and the metal ear so and then now we have a round wind so a round window is just below the oval wind so the functions of the round window it absorbs excess pressure waves from the inner ear so inside this cochlea there is a liquid or there's something that we call it endolymph so this endolymph it's a filled liquid so this liquid will vibrate so as it vibrates that is where how this sensors will stimulate it and transmit or convert this vibration into a sound wave but if the pressure is too much and then this round window will absorb this pressure so this is the functions of the round window it absorbs excess pressure wave from the inner ear and then another part is a cochlea so cochlea contains an organ of coating so when we talk about organ of coating organ of coating is a receptor responsible for interpreting sound so like i said as the vibration hit this oval window then the endolymph inside the cochlea will start to vibrate or there is going to be a liquid vibration and then this organ of coat will read this vibration and then convert it into sound so that will be able to hear and then another function of the cochlea it convert the stimulus of the sound into the impacts yes this is the function of the organ of coat it will transmit this will transmit this sound waves or this sound pressure into impulse then the auditory nerve will take this information to the brain. And then another part is a semicircular canal. So this is the these are the semicircular canal. So semicircular canal are three circular canal that are arranged at their right angle to each other. So these canals are arranged at the right angle to each other. And then each canal has a receptor inside so it has a receptor which is crystal this canal also are filled with endolymph so the functions of this canal crystal detect changes in the speed and the direction these are the functions of this receptor and then maculae detect changes in the position of the head with respect to gravity so these are the functions of the semicircular canal uh, i will explain the process of balancing 
data in this video so you will see how the crystal works when they work with balance when we work with balance so next up it's a hearing process so with the hearing process so you need to be able to explain the hearing process hearing process is when the sound enters the ear until it reaches the brain so you must be able to explain all the process what happened who is doing what so it's when the sound enters move through the auditory canal then here at the tympanic you see until it converted into the sound stimulus to the brain so you must be able to explain this process this most it appears during examination so the process goes like this yeah the pinna of the ear trap the sound wave so this pinna traps the sound wave and then ear canal direct waves to the ear drum. so this canal will direct the waves to the ear drum and then which will cause the ear drum to vibrate so as the ear drum is hit by the sound wave it will start to vibrate and then as it vibrate it causes the ossicle to vibrate so it will causes these three bones these three small bones hammer anvil stirrup to vibrate and then as they vibrate they passes they passes the vibration to oval wind so here they are connected to oval wind which is the membrane between the inner ear and the middle ear so these bones will passes the vibration to the oval window and then the pressure waves are set up in the inner ear like i said this inner ear is filled with liquid so as the oval window start to vibrate it will create a pressure wave so the liquid will start to create a will be under pressure and then the organ of coating is stimulated like organ of coating we say it's the hair inside the the cochlea so it will be stimulated and then as it, as it is stimulated it will convert the stimuli into the impulse so then now this pressure waves will be converted into the impulse and then after it converted into the impulse uh, which are transmitted by the auditory nerves so this auditory nerve will transmit this sound so this sound now will be transmitted and then the last thing so which are transmitted by the auditory nerve to the cerebrum for interpretation so cerebrum is the part of the brain that is responsible for interpretation so this is the hearing process you must be able to explain this process during examination and uh, collect around seven marks seven six seven marks so you must be able to interpret this or explain this process so next up it's a balancing process so with balancing process uh, here we talk about crystal so the crystals are in a semicircular canal semicircular canal are the parts that are responsible for balancing so here is the process the crystal in the semicircular canal are stimulated by the changes in the speed and the direction when the endolymph move so as we move like i said the endolymph will start to move and then the crystal will be stimulated and then the crystal convert the stimuli to nerves impulse so this movement will cause the crystal to change this movement into impulse and then the impulse are transported along the auditory nerve and then to the cerebellum to be interpreted and then impulses sent to the muscle to restore balance so this is the balancing process so you must be able to explain the balancing process this one get about four marks so these are the processes which are very important when coming to human ear and then next up we do the hearing defect so the hearing defect are the diseases that are found in the ear so we have a middle ear in fact infection which occur when excess fluid build up in the middle ear so what causes this infection yeah the viruses and bacteria so if it happens that in the middle ear there is a viruses and bacteria 
So this microorganism causes the production of fluid which accumulate in the middle ear causing pressure and the pain. Remember in the middle ear that is where okay, a stitching tube is connected. So if this pressure uh, ostetrian tube is blocked and then this will cause pressure build in the middle ear and then the tympanic the brain won't be vibrate and then there will be a pain because the, there is a building in pressure. Pressure has to be removed via the mouth or the, the nose. So if it, the ostetrian tube is blocked by this liquid that was formed by the viruses and then this will cause pressure and the pain. So how do we treat it? We treat it by the medication and then grommets are used for children. So when we talk about grommets, a grommet is a draining tube which is put into the tympanic membrane through the surgery which allow moisture from behind the tympanic membrane to drain out. So most of the time grommet is used on kids. It's put inside the ear then it helps with allowing moisture from behind the tympanic membrane to drain out. So this is, these are the treatments. And then the next hearing defect, it's a deafness. So deafness is referred to a total or partial hearing loss. For somebody who their hearing, which is not perfect, we say it's a deafness. So what causes deafness? It's an injury to parts of the ear or injury to nerves or injury to part of the brain that is responsible for hearing. So this can cause a partial hearing loss or can cause deafness. And then again, it can cause by the hardening of the ear tissues such as ossicle. So if the ossicle is hard or it's not moving, it will cause some deafness because they won't be able to transmit vibration. So how do we treat it? We can treat it by the hearing aids. Hearing aids are devices that are helping us to hear or the cochlear implants is also a device that is helping us to interpret the sound. So these are the treatments for deafness. So here is the end of this video. If you have watched it to this far, thank you very much. Please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that we can grow. So if you are studying, I say good luck with your studies. Thank you very much. God bless you.